fanya He ni juu ya love tunaifanya He ni juu ya loyalty to win to a royal to kill lose bad or grow to task mama He ni juu ya passion to refanya He ni juu ya love tunaifanya He ni juu ya loyalty to win to a royal to kill lose bad or grow to task mama Hi everybody! Yes, welcome to another fire episode of Tough Talk. And now on this episode, we are going to catch up with a Kenyan international professional footballer who plays for uh, Al Svenskan League. That's the Swedish league. Uh, very talented young man. He's in his early 20s. Now a very, very, very talented defender. So how about Twende Tukamskize? Frank, how was it playing for Gore? Yeah, uh, uh, playing for Gore was amazing. Uh, it was a it was a good ex experience for me, considering that uh, it was my first time to like play in the Kenyan League even. So because I came from uh, I came from a club called Bongonaya. Mm -hmm. Back then, I think we were playing like uh, county league, it's something fifth tier of, of Kenya uh, football. Mm -hmm. So playing for 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 Gormaya was was an amazing feeling, an amazing journey. It's what uh, uh, pushed me to to where I am now. Yeah. yeah. And speaking of where you are now, yeah. how did you end up in the Swedish league? Yeah, I went to 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 Sweden uh, two years ago. Yeah. It was uh, it was an amazing feeling too. I can say. Uh, I ended up, uh, I went to Sweden through uh, my agent, his name is Idris, mm -hmm. Idris Ise. Uh, he's the one who spotted me uh, while I was playing for Gormaya. He was in the country, he came to like uh, check on someone else, but at least he fell in love with how I played. Yeah. He contacted me and uh, we penned the contract with him. And then he started to like uh, find a club for me, which uh, he eventually did. Eventually found uh, uh, Ugoden in yeah. Sweden. Uh, gave them my my videos and uh, and uh, and told them that uh, he's a good player. Yeah. Even you guys can follow up. So the team kept on following up for like a couple of months. Mm -hmm. And then when the window came, uh, the January. Uh, transfer. They decided to to acquire me, so I. That's how I found myself. Wow! So literally, they had come to scout for what we engine, and then if what turned you Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, literally, they came to scout another player. Yeah. Someone who also I think uh, is out there right now. Yeah. Uh, so they came to like check him, uh, and coincidentally, we were playing against them. Wow. The guy that they came to to look. Yeah. So uh, while we were playing, they fell in love with how I play, uh -huh. yeah, and then it all started from there. Like I can imagine because Olunga was a player for your team. So yeah. You? Yeah. So coming from such a story, like so in a Manisha, I would say one Angalia league is there too as much because there's so many players playing in Sweden, Kenyan players. Yeah, I think I think I think right now Sweden is like uh, the best market for Kenyan players mm -hmm. because uh, I think uh, since we've established like a route towards uh, the Swedish league, yeah. it's getting quite more easier for like even the upcoming players who are coming mm -hmm. to like get a chance to like make the move mm -hmm. because it all started with uh, I think probably even even Mariga was, was yes. in Sweden. So such people are the ones who like opened the door. Mariga, Wanyama, mm -hmm. and then Olunga uh, played for played for Yugon. Yeah. So uh, for me, it was a, it was a, it, it, it's a good challenge for me. I can say because I'm looking forward to like uh, probably uh, do better than he did. Yeah. Because he did not uh, like stay for long too. Yeah. So was for a year. Yeah, it was for a year. Yeah. Yeah, he stayed for a year because he played only in 2016. Yeah. Yeah, and then uh, he left for China. Uh -huh. Very good money. Yes. So <laughs> I'm looking. I'm looking forward to for me too to 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 also uh, play uh, good football. Yeah. In Sweden. Yeah. And probably even open more greater doors for myself and those who are coming behind me too. Yeah. 
yeah. that's that you have to be inspirational to be honest. I yeah. mean yeah. it's not easy for my players. Like see kitu tu inafanyikanga ati tu umeenda tu Sweden ati tu yeah. I mean there are so many players in Kenya who are very, in Kenya who are very talented. Yeah. Na wao umepata hiyo chance manze ni, ni, ni epic. But speaking ebu imagine coming from here umecheza tu Gor Sisana and then umeingia Sweden. Yeah. That transition. Yeah. How was that like? Uh, I can say uh, the transition was a little bit challenging I can say that. Ni baridi ama. Yeah yeah. <laughs> Kwa sababu uh, uko yeah. The weather is totally different from uh, from the weather that I was used to experience here in Kenya. Yeah. And then for me, I went during the winter, so it it was a little bit worse mm -hmm. because it was its uh, its highest peak, I can say, because probably negative ten something. Mm. It's too cold for yeah. sure. And then you imagine yourself playing football uh, in a in a snowy weather, too cold. You have toes are freezing. Yeah. Yeah. Because when before before I made the move, yeah, uh, I talked to Olunga. He, he gave me like uh, snippets of of how, how it's to going adapt. to be. Yeah. Yeah. So he, he, for me, he's he's a good uh, he's a good friend. A good uh, I can say he's a brother because he's. He has been the one who has like shown me the way for for football, I like can yeah. say. So uh, the transition was a little bit challenging, I yeah. can say, because for for me, uh, when I played in Gormahia, we 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 didn't have like a lot of fans too. Mm. It was not like uh, the other years that the stadiums were full. Yeah. Because I I joined I joined I joined Gormaya in 2020 just after the Corona period, mm -hmm. and uh, the stadiums were not open yet for oh, for yeah. like yeah the fans yeah. yeah. So uh, going to Sweden, I can say even my first game in preseason, yeah, it was full. I can say, and then oh. and then you, it, it, they have like a certain hype. Uh, it, new acquisition you need to to show yeah. they they fall in love with you quite uh -huh. quite fast which is much much better too wow it's a good feeling uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> because as i imagine i'll party that kenyan food that you're, you've been accustomed to yeah it's that's a big challenge i can say still yeah it, still it's a big challenge for yeah. sure because uh uh, when you when you move, uh, there's a lot of things that uh, that uh, that you are going to experience that mm -hmm. are new to to you mm -hmm. and your surrounding. So for me, in terms of social culture and food, it was it was it was hard for me, yeah. I can say. But uh, with time, you get to adapt because there's nothing you can do about it. You just have to adapt to the situation and and carry on. Uh, and uh, once you adapt, yeah. you you start to even fall in love with some of their cuisines, which is which is okay. Which is your favorite? Uh, lasagna. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but una bebanga maume na yeah. unga. Yeah, eh, lazima. Kwanza for me, ni ni Kenya. Time ni yenda siku beba that much. <laughs> Ah, uh, siku na hiyo memo vile. Eh. Because I was like, hata nikibeba maybe itanuka. Uh, after some oh, time itaisha. Scared. Okay, itaisha yeah. and then what after that? Mm -hmm. So, uh, after I got uh, like used to the food, when I came back, it's when I started to like curry. For me, usually like, like right now if I'm going back, mm -hmm. uh, I usually don't carry clothes. Uh, oh baby. Ni Majani chai. Sababu, uh, they are simple things but they define you. Yeah. Kuna vitu zenye ukiwa huko una miss. Uh, kuna kuna tea za ketepa ni nini ni vitu kama hizo. Eh. Majani Unajua pia kulelewa Kenya pia it's a good thing. It, it, ni kuzoea. Ni kuzoea. Yeah. And then where well, your team yenu ya inaitwa yeah. Yo jina si ni ngumu. You well, Gordon. Uh, you Gordon. Yeah. So you Gordon mkicheza na Aiko it, yeah. it's a derby. Right? Yeah it's a, it's a Stockholm derby. So how is it when you're playing against you know your Kenyans wenzako akina yeah. Eric Marcelo Major si change. Yeah the the, the atmosphere is the same yeah. it's always it's always amazing. Nongenga kiswahili kwanza. Yeah. 
uko ndani mkicheza ah lazima lazima sasa sasa <laughs> ukishazoea sasa watu wako pia ukipata na watu kama hao it's, it's a chance ku kukumbuka home yeah kwa sababu sasa hapo hivyo ndio unaweza ongea Kiswahili unaweza feel free unaona mm. eh, which is a good thing so much this ndio hiyo siku it's yeah. in the morning how is that how does like how do you define day yako hiyo day unajua ni match day ni derby day una meet hour say uko na like holy grail kuna vitu wewe ufanya different hapana i usually don't uh, do like different stuff yeah. because me wana maybe inaza inaza ingiza baridi yenye huko anayo so i usually just do the same things mm-hmm. zenye nafanyanga in all the games mm-hmm. uh, like if i'm used to doing certain thing match day 2 yeah. i'll do it match day 10 it's always just that consistent yeah so uh, sema, the atmosphere for for the derby is always epic mm-hmm. because a derby is always there's always that energy yeah. that different kind of stuff that you feel so it's always i can say it's amazing just in simple words mm-hmm. yeah because the fans are the ones like make that atmosphere even more great yeah yeah can you compare it to europa since you've played in the europa league yeah uh in in europa i've been to i've been i've i've, I've gone but i've not yet like made the debut yeah. but uh you can feel even if you're outside on yeah. the bench you can feel the difference uh-huh. there is always that uh, there's a tempo a different tempo like with the ball yeah. if you if you like compare it to the swedish league mm-hmm. there's there's a different tempo i can say different tactics mm-hmm. how you approach that game yeah. i can say that's the difference between maybe the derby and uh, and europa because when you approach a europa game you feel even the teammates mm-hmm. there's something different about them mm-hmm. yeah wow i as to rudi to ngelele like league yetu hapa kenya you know like is is there a difference since since you left Uh, since i left i can say yeah the, there's progress but uh, I'd, uh, for me I'd, I'd, i'll hope even to be more pro, pro, that the league to be to to progress even much better because yeah. uh, when i was playing i can say it was not uh, it was it was good feeling yes because it was my first time mm-hmm. the the energy was up i needed that uh, playing time and space when i started but right now i can say there's a difference because when i when i was in gormaya playing the the games were not being aired by the way yeah i think once in a while uh, we had uh, i think it was bet king if i'm not wrong uh. but again they left i think mid midway of the season uh-huh. or something uh-huh. so exposure wise it was not that easy yeah. because for us players ni uh, video i think is not was a for for a better part of our career. Yeah. Uh kusabu, if if the games are being aired, always you wanna nani anakuona. There's always a scout, there's always someone who's watching. Yeah. Uh, so if the games are being aired and uh unaona infrastructures na come there are some things being put in place yeah. to like elevate the game in a kuwa much much better. Yeah, so in regards to, you know, social media presence na footballers Me, n- l- like na same ever cuz ni me click so many players na unaingia wengine hata ako private unajua mtu ako private ako na like 300 ama 10 yani ana presence whatsoever kwa social media mwanzo mm. unaweza wa advice aje uh, my advice to to such people mimi naweza sema uh, they need to be more active yeah. as a player ukuwe footballer rugby bora you an, an athlete mm-hmm. una, i think for me uh, so social media it's too powerful to be to be kept in the dark yeah. uh, like in this era and age because it helps a lot kuna kuna impact unaweza make yeah. as a footballer as an athlete you never know uh, who's your audience mm. no na as much as our audience unafakuwa na someone who's who's clicking who has something that yeah. you that you like kama that you want to feature in uh mean as advice we just keep it uh running we we keep 
posting, we keep engaging with our fans, yeah. such, 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 ne, ne, such, such things go a long way. Yeah. Because Babu, it's so easy. Uh, social media is there to stay, the internet is there to stay yeah. forever. So, I was going impact Nani like in two years, yeah. in ten years from now, and as I learn from what you did, from how you carried yourself, yeah. how Vilo Liji to a block, come on, me even as I say, my evil. So, ni an inspiration to not only yourself, but to other people. Mm -hmm. uh, Any word for you know, younger players, in, uh, inspirational, to just, just inspire them. That's your camera. <laughs> okay. So, uh, to, the, uh, to, the, to the youngins who are watching, uh, the upcoming footballers, boys, girls, ladies, men. Ni ni poa kuno what you want in life, yeah. how you push towards that, determines a lot because it's never always about hard work. Nezasema, you need to to be smart too. Yeah. As much you know uh, which route you want to take, there's always the longest, shortest, normal way. So it takes a lot. The journey is always tough, always. So definitely utakuwazileza how you carry yourself mm -hmm. towards the finish line if you if you if you already plan to have a finish line. So uh, the journey is always tough. You're gonna have to to man up and woman up <laughs> and woman up if there's something like that. Yeah. So uh, itakuwa hard. Akuna and uh, and uh, something funny that that always my dad uh, Uniambia mm. that I carry with me is that uh, uh, it's always gonna be tough. Okay. Akuna sweet aikwa raisi. Whatever comes easier goes away easier, easier too. So you you just need to go through some little hardships, yeah. if not bad hard, hardships. Kuna wala wasi usema ati hardship ni hardship. Hakuna ile raisi, hakuna ile ndogo. Ni hard zote. Ni hard zote. So, uh, lazimu utago through some some determining moments yeah. zinye zitakuweka in your head uko like, am I doing right? Is mm -hmm. it, am I on the safe journey yeah. towards my success? So, uh, nizo tu I think I can say and always to, to pray because uh, health and uh, life comes from God. Absolutely, thank you. Yeah. That, that, that is really profound. Yeah, and thank, thank you. you so much for coming yeah. to Tough Talk. One year, subscribe. Tough Talk, subscribe, like, and uh, share. Eh? share. Comment. <laughs> Comment. It's a good platform, Tough Talk. Yeah. Continue. I don't mean my subscribe. Come on, just subscribe. Asante. Share, manze. Apostasa, thank you so much. Ah, you're and welcome. guys, that's how we end the show. Thank you so much for by the Tasca grounds of Metupatia, Tasca FC in the Homeao or Metupea, he placed to as a shoot. Thank you so much, the management. And guys, keep subscribing and see you on the next one. <laughs>